Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if I could just live in Philly. Oh my god. Start collecting my 120,000 a year. And I would just do Dude, that. That's it's it's almost over. Yeah, two weeks left. <laughs> I you guys videotaping me? I said that I can't wait to see this video because I feel like it's gonna be an ugly cry fest. <laughs> That's true. No, right. no, I don't want it to be over. Let's I'm do this. Get all emotional Dylan, and start just crying. quickly. Okay. All right, so you guys can be exactly how you were because I already started recording. Oh no. So. Dylan. Well, all that. <laughs> Smith do it. Every time I would see my dad, I'd be like Smith, and he'd be like, "Oh, are we related?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ended up doing well on one of the exams, and one of the messages that he wrote was like, "You bad, you bad. Your mom is so bad," and I thought that was really funny. I remember like that was the first class where I like took notes, like day one. Day one where he started with yeah, because like I had writing, Some I didn't do anything. It was like <laughs> syllabus, and then we went to like. I didn't have a pencil. I wasn't even ready. I didn't even have yeah. a pencil. I know. <laughs> and like he just starts teaching in like five minutes, and I'm like, okay, this is college. We have arrived. Well, I remember after the first test, and like every every day, the next class after the after the test, I would give myself the day off. So I would just go and sit, but I wouldn't take any notes because I was just recuperating from the test. I just love how Ms. Prisky always talks about the. Um, the butterflies. <laughs> she's so passionate towards it. So whenever I hear, like, listen to her, like, talk about it, I like. It always makes me smile and stuff. Okay. It's, it's actually funny how she's really passionate. I respect that. Oh, Miss Prisiki. Miss Prisiki lab with Miss Prisiki. I don't think she's changed. Like her personality has stayed like the, the, the same. same. Exactly. Well, she's always been. Oh, it's like the first nice. thing that sort of sticks out is like she like talks so fast and like you have to just get used to like <laughs> yeah. her speaking. Her rapid pace. Yeah. Very it was really cool to like hear all of Dr. Johnson's like anecdotes and just all the different stories he had from like his undergrad years, his like grad and post grad, um, I mean like doctorate and postdoc stories. Mm -hmm. um, it was really cool, and it was nice to have someone who's so passionate about the subject also. Huge Excel awesome. sheet yeah. on Blackboard with like. All the student ID numbers and grades and yeah. like, like it's a statistical breakdown. Yeah. That was, it was, that was dope. And you just like had to look for your number <laughs> when your school went down. We're like, yeah. oh, how far are you down? He used to talk really um, quietly, and the AC was too loud, so it was hard to hear him. And I always told my friends I would love to buy him a mic so we can, we can hear him better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Remember that John F. Kennedy video we watched? For no. an hour. Oh, you were you there for that? I was probably. So there, he puts on like know. this thing on microbiology, and it's like this hour and a half long video of a speech that John oh, yeah. gave at some like function or whatever, and everyone was just sleeping. And there yeah. was no, not a soul was at present <laughs> in lab. Like, <laughs> like everyone just clocked out. What's it like taking genetics with Dr. Bela? Love it. Dr. Bela is probably my favorite professor. Genetics and Molec with Dr. Bela. Oh my god. Oh god. Experience. Star mark this slide. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh. Yeah, Dr. Bela, like, I remember, like, there'd be times where you would have, like, an, um, a mid A or high A on an yeah. exam but because you didn't get a hundred <laughs> yeah. like, I think you can. Like yeah. your your work could be a little bit better here. And that's so, so it was like so. Fr it was like frustrating because you were so happy at like. 96 or 97 and she's like, oh, I think there's still room for food <laughs> yeah. in here. You're like, man. Favorite was probably Clinical Let Me Know with Reinhardt and all the cool labs we got to do. We got to like test our own blood for different antibodies and see like if we still had antibodies for chicken pox and like mono and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. Um, Ms. Reinhardt's special topics class in biological threats. Her passion in the class increase mine. That was like one of my favorite classes. Hematology and clinical amino. Okay. I love both those classes. <laughs> professor my, professor Meyer is my favorite professor. I wonder if Amy Zambito was a riot, especially <laughs> one time she came in and there were donuts and we were all so excited so we were like you know just chowing down and then she was like pop quiz and we all started freaking out. Freaking we were out. We so worried but it just turned out to be like you know what systems are working. It was really easy. That's probably one of my favorite weeks ever of classes. I would say as one of the people that I would give a shout out to would be Dr. Bela. 
because she's always driven to like push me to make sure I get things done with a, a sense of quality that I can be proud of and not just getting it done for the sake of getting it done. You know, I've got to give a shout out to Tam. I have to give a shout out to Matt. Those two really taught me everything I know about lab technique. But Dr. Berget is really such, has been an incredible mentor to me. So I, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for him. I'd like to thank Mrs. Brzezinski because she's so awesome and she helped me for through all four years. I'd like to thank Dr. Bella because she made me fall in love with genetics and molecular biology and she's fantastic as well. I would like to throw a big shout out to Dr. Mostrom because she helped me through plant diversity and morphology and with ecology and she's definitely become someone that I talk to really often and she's always looking out for what I'm doing next and how I'm doing in classes and outside of classes so I think I really want to give a big shout out to her. I would like to give a shout out to Dr. Mostrom who's my advisor. Um, she's helped me tremendously during all four of my years here whether I was just a freshman trying to navigate the rest of my years here or now talking about future plans. Anything to say about Rachel and Karen? They're really, really helpful. Yes, yes. Very, very kind, laid back. Um, they're fun. Uh, they're not. They're not uptight. So when we come into the office, it's not like you know everything is like has to be this, this, this. Like we can just sit there and talk. Like yeah, we're it's, doing today. it's fun. Like yeah, you just sit <laughs> on those like three chairs out there and just chill and you know, have a conversation, a cup of coffee. Like, yeah, just right. <laughs> I just love walking by her desk every day. I feel like I make excuses to come see her and just say hi. And Rachel, you're great. Never <laughs> leave. <laughs> Rachel and Karen are great. I honestly, I don't even know how they do their jobs. Oh, okay. and I just want to thank Karen for always saving me the orange bins because those are the best ones. Okay. <laughs> Shout out. To Is it on right now? There we go. Oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't want to know. You should put that in there. Oh. Ignoring Dr. Burgett. <laughs> what is going on? There's Rachel. Rachel! What are you doing? This is unacceptable. Thank you. Lemon grab. I think. The four years that I've been here has shaped me into who I am now and like how I'm going to be in the future. It's like a big family here and I'm going to miss it. Bye bye, you <laughs> I love you.